what up guys i'm gonna be doing a real quick cars 3 review um okay uh well, first of all spoilers if you haven't seen it check it out before you listen to this or watch this um but yeah okay so the movie's good but it's not the best in the series i think that's the first one and the worst is probably the second one um and that's just because they switch out of you know on the second one, they choose to make Mater the protagonist, and that just didn't work. And they went on a whole spy thing, and it just doesn't work. It didn't, you know, it just, I feel like there was some heart and some, like, you know, there was something about the first one um, that gave it some heart, and there was, you know, there was some cool stuff in it um, that just was lost in the second one. But the third one, it kind of brings it back. Um, so it starts Owen Wilson and Cristela Alonso is brought in in this movie and she's kind of like, it's kind of their movie. And it becomes Lightning McQueen's movie again, you know. He had, you know, they gave, they gave Mater a shot who's, who's in the movie but he's not really like a huge, my, I think Mac the Truck has more screen time than Mater. Uh, oh, and basically everybody from Radiator Springs is in it but they're not like the main characters. This is really Lightning McQueen's story. And it begins with him basically just beginning to lose. Having like the world's changing around him. And he's kind of falling behind. All his contemporaries, all the cars he used to race with are all either retired or getting fired from their sponsors. Um, so everything's changing for him. And he doesn't know how to adapt until one day he gets into a real bad accident. And it basically just takes him out. He finishes the season. It was like the worst season he's ever had. But there's like the new threat. It's not a threat, but like the new racers are faster or, you know, they just, they are better than him and he can't beat them and he doesn't know how. So I think and one of like the most interesting things of the movie where the owners, the Rusties, you know, they, they love, they love him. You know, he's made them a lot of money, but, like, I feel like, I don't know, like, that scene where they're kind of telling him, like, yo, we sold the company to this Silicon Valley type who's going to take you where we where we can't take you. Like, we love you. We want to see you in your prime and keep winning and, you know, get more cups and stuff. And it's like this old Volkswagen van and his brother. And it's funny, like, they're like, that. that scene to me was, like, really cool because it was like really heartfelt and they're like like telling them like look we have to sell the company we don't owe like we don't longer own rusties but it's because we love you like one we're not like young men anymore like like keeping up with not, not only the sport but like the the hustle and bustle of life like it's not for us anymore we kind of want to retire and just kind of spend our golden years doing something easy you know going on going on vacation and and not only that we just can't provide the thing like the tools you need to keep winning which is like simulators and and trainers and and basically just money so they have to hand them over to like the silicon valley type who who is a fan like he likes them but he mostly likes what he represents which is a legacy that he can sell and merchandise and market and like and that's like, I was like, oh, those are all big concepts, you know, especially for a children's movie. I mean, but it's Pixar, so it makes sense. Um, but it's dealing with all these concepts of getting old and, and passing down the handle and then knowing when to give up and, you know, hang up, you know, like hang up the gloves. Which is like when I saw the first trailer for Cars 3, it reminded me of Rocky. You know, it's like this old bull who's still fighting or this old fighter who's still fighting. Then here comes this rookie knocks him out, you know? So he has to go back to training and like you, you see them training in the beach and that's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, this is Lightning McQueen's Rocky where he has to go back to the beach and train with Apollo Creed. No. Yeah. Tra <laughs> train in the beach. Um, uh, and and come back and, you know, ultimately be victorious. 
Um, and that's what the re the trailer reminded me. It's like, oh, it's it's Rocky, you know. It's you know he got old, but he needs to find the grit. You know he needs to. But it ultimately, it wasn't that. It was more like Rocky. Was it five, where he, he has to train Tommy Gunn, because the twist of the movie is that Lightning McQueen realizes that he he's not that young guy no more. He, he like he has that hunger. He wants to win, but he he can't beat them but just like how his trainer dog hudson his crew chief found a second life like um like a second calling becoming his crew chief and made the memories and made friendships and he became basically his father figure and and, and family uh by being his crew chief and you know they have like this sweet moment where where um, Smokey, the truck that used to be Doc Hudson's trainer, shows him. He's like, hey, I hadn't heard from him, from him in a while. Then he started sending these letters. And there were all, like, cutouts of Lightning McQueen's victories and, like, all these posters. And, like, like to him, all the Piston Cup winning stuff and all the things he did and accomplished, those were great. But those weren't, like, the things he cherished the most, him being your mentor, him being your chief, your crew chief, him being your friend. That's those are the things he 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 cherished. And when he passed away, I think when he looked back in his life, that's the things that matter most to him. And when we start the movie, Lightning McQueen, the things that matter most to him, it's you know, racing and radiator springs, but ultimately he he doesn't want to go off like dog hudson and just be be told by the sponsors you're done uh it's over you know like turn in your you know i, don't know, I guess turn in your keys turn in your number and it's you know it's over for you he didn't want to go out like that he wanted to go out on his own terms you know and like that's like like you know like the wrestler and and like all the sports movies we've ever seen you know rocky you know he wants to go out in his way but the twist of it is is that he he realizes that it, it doesn't matter whether he wins or not. Like, he might, even if he uses all his knowledges and tricks, he's not better than these guys. So, he's not, like, he might, he, maybe he he wins or he places top 10. But that's, you know, like, that's not satisfying for him no more. He's like, his, like, the pendulum swings and he's like, maybe being a racer or winning isn't his priority, you know, you know, anymore. And this new character they introduced, um, she kind of becomes his, you know, his, his mentee, like while training, he's kind of frustrated and he like lashes out at her because he's like, look, I need to like get better. I need to win, you know, but he kind of starts forming a bond with her and, you know, and the stuff that like uh, like the stuff that they bring up with her as far as like um just like themes for the movie of like taking your shot and like not being afraid to like fail but also to just try because if you don't even try you know you'll never know how much you could accomplish um stuff like that that was also like very like good in the movie i i like that stuff um so when lightning mcqueen finally gets a chance um, at a race, he, he, he decides that, like, it's not his last chance at a victory to keep going, and you know, for his legacy, it's his first chance to give someone else a shot, you know, so he hands over the reins to, to this new character, Cruz, Cruz Ramirez, that's right, um, so, so he hands over the reins to Cruz, and he tells her, like, okay, it's your turn, and, and he he basically becomes her crew chief, and it and it becomes this thing of like, well, this is his life now. Like he could continue to be a racer because, I mean, that's who he is at his heart. But he's also like, he's not like being a crew chief to him or being both. Like this mentor is 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 more meaningful to him, you know, than than to just be a winner. Um. So yeah, I thought it was like those themes were really great in the movie. Um, there was like scenes here and there where I was like, like I get it, the the, the landscape is beautiful and like you know you're showing the truck, but I felt like oh my god, like you could cut this down. Like it was just a little too indulgent. Um, but 
the one thing that like they trimmed down a lot was all the characters from Radiator Springs were just kind of like you Mater's barely in the movie. I mean, he's in it, but he's not like a big part of it. Um, the rest of the Radiator Springs people, you know, cars also, you know, they're in there, but they're not. This is Lightning McQueen's movie. And, you know, and they go through like they go to like new towns and they meet new cars. And I thought that was cool. Like they go into like this blues bar um and i mean like these old cars you know that they used to race uh doc hudson used to like hang out with and they're kind of like they show him like a new way like this wisdom that he didn't and that he didn't know before then they like tell him like oh we used to run moonshine back in the day i thought that was neat i thought that like i was like oh well that adds another dimension to this car's world this car's world there's a lot of adult jokes in it too like that you know a lot of kids um you know went over their head and i'm dying i thought they were funny but overall this wasn't like the funniest movie it was kind of like it wasn't serious but it was kind of like there was like these big themes that you know maybe the kids wouldn't have um catch you know or caught you know they wouldn't have caught them all at the end though when lightning mcqueen like he had one suit change where he they like, wrap his body like in this metallic suit that would also like show them their speeds and his like you know his vitals and then when he sheds that he becomes he reverts to being the original lightning mcqueen but at the end he everyone started cheering when he he shows his new transformation um, where he painted himself blue in the colors of Doc Hudson. And it's like the fat, like, because, you know, it was the fabulous Doc Hudson. It's like the fabulous Lightning McQueen. And he's in the colors of his mentor and basically his father figure. Um, and everyone cheered. And it was like this beautiful thing of like everything is a circle the way he had a mentor and he, you know, helped them become one of the greatest in the sports and a legend because everyone loves him. Um, now he's going to do that for Cruz and I don't know if they're going to do like a Cars 4 where, you know, now Cruz becomes the main character, but I mean, they definitely left it open for that. Um, but you know, it, it, it ended up where they're in a good place. Um, now Dynamo's their sponsor and Big Tex has always had like a soft spot for, for Lightning McQueen and for, for that Cruz. So um, there's definitely like an opening for Cars 4. Who knows if that will ever happen. But um, overall, I like the movie. Uh, you could tell um, there was themes and stuff that I was like, I don't know. Like during the movie, I didn't know. I'm like, do I like this? Do I not like this? But when I left and I, you know, kept thinking about it, I was like, oh, shit, that was really neat. This was really cool. Um, you know, and then thinking back about the first ones and I don't know. I liked it. So if you guys haven't had a chance, you guys should check it out. Um, Cars 3. <laughs> um, Alright, so subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, a comment. Check out our Patreon. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys to my uh, analogies and metaphors between the first and the second and the third. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.